Hi everyone. So listen, I've been thinking and I just don't really want my intros to have like a structured sentence to start the video off. I don't know. I kind of want to try this out where it's just like getting into the video like, hey, what's up? Like I always hope you guys are doing well, but I hope you know that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just sometimes it feels just odd and like robotic. So I yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, have some stuff to try out. I think I'm gonna keep the eyes pretty low-key I just don't want it to be super flashy. So Yeah, um, anyway, okay, let's get into this <laughs> I'm pretty late to the game with like all the things I'll be showing in this video, but That's just how I do things. This is the elf brow lift it okay I probably should have kept the cap on so it doesn't just look clear brow lift from elf you know, I've heard some mixed things about this. I'm gonna try it out for myself. And I also picked up the spoolie and spatula thing, the tool, the applicator that comes with this. Okay, I'm gonna bend the spoolie because I think it's gonna be a lot easier to dip into the actual container. Yeah, like that just makes more sense to me. On my brows, I usually use the Suavecito pomade, which I love. It does what I want it to do, like it separates my brow hairs and all that. Sometimes I do notice that I'll have some residue left on like the front of my hairs and sometimes you can see that. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me too much, but it, that does happen every once in a while if I add just a little more product on than usual. That's kind of why I want to try this out. I've heard a lot of people compare this to the ABH Brow Freeze, which I have never tried out before, so I couldn't tell you what that's like. Let's give it a go. It's definitely not as difficult to work with as I thought it would be. I feel like it's pretty easy to move around. Then I'm gonna go with the spatula and just really flatten out these hairs. That is like glued down to my face right now. All right, let's go on to the other eyebrow and then take a look at both of them. They're like definitely giving you that feathery, thick brow look for sure. I feel like this is something that I am gonna want to use just in specific areas, just have it be more of like a targeted product. Because I think like this kind of looks wild right now, but I think once I go in with my brow pencil, it will look a little better. I don't mind it, like so far it's doing what it, you know, should be doing. I actually do like this applicator. I know some people were just like, eh, it's whatever, um, but I actually enjoy it. I don't find that the spoolie is uncomfortable to work with and the spatula is actually really nice to really lay those hairs down, especially like in these front bits because I noticed that those are usually the little hairs that will just kind of like fling up throughout the day. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah. We're doing good so far. I'm enjoying this. Next up is the ColourPop Brow Pencil. This I've actually already used, but I purchased it when I got everything else. Um, I was just impatient, so I ended up using it. But I got this one in the shade Soft Black because they didn't have just a like very black or even just like a black um, in store. And I don't think I saw one online. So I was hesitant about this, but I actually really, really like it. And I feel like it makes my brows look a little more natural. So yeah, I've been thoroughly enjoying this one. And it also comes with a spoolie just to, you know, work that product around. So I'm going to go in lightly in the front, just because I feel like the front is pretty defined already. So I don't really want these to come out looking like blocks. <laughs> I do feel like I have to apply a little more pressure to actually get that pigment to come off of the pencil on top of the brow gel right now. But it's still, it's showing up. It's just a little trickier. Let me try my other brow pencil, the LA Girl one, and see how that's gonna go on. Okay, yeah. I feel like the LA Girl one goes on a little smoother. I do also think that this one isn't as waxy as the ColourPop one, so that could be the reason for that, but 
what do i know you know what let's just like really go all in i'm also gonna try the nyx brow pen just to see because every once in a while i will use a brow pen to add a few more hairs let's just see if this has any issue yeah no i i know i added like four little flicks but that's nice like i that, it's a strong brow for sure like it's definitely bold and everything i'm not mad at that honestly this is my better brow between the two anyway but yeah okay i'm gonna quickly go ahead and do this brow just to get that over with brows are on i am pretty happy with them so let's move on to our skin okay for the skin i picked up the milani bright side illuminating primer this has a vitamin c and pro vitamin b5 it says it's a creamy lotion texture it has a radiant finish and it also has a hobo oil beautiful it's very creamy for sure Kind of looks like that. I'm really hoping that this isn't going to make me look glittery. Like, I just want it to give that healthy radiance. So, I would say that I'm definitely looking extremely glowy. Honestly, I wouldn't say it's necessarily, like, glittery. It might have the finest amount, but... You would have to be like hella close to me to see that. A primer like this, I would definitely go in with another one to my nose because this isn't gonna fill in your pores. It's not gonna smooth that out. Like it's really just to give that bright and lifted effect to your face. I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream because it's been a hot minute since I picked this one up. So this is not new. I've, you know, already showcased it several times, but... We're gonna give it a go again. I'm constantly forgetting how just like full coverage it actually is for a CC cream. I feel like that laid nicely on top of that primer. Like it's not, um, like it's not crumbling up or anything. Nice. Okay, now for concealer. This is not new necessarily because it's the la girl pro conceal and i use this like when i first started getting into makeup it was just inexpensive and it blew me away like it literally is so full coverage i love the formula of it at least from what i remember honestly for five dollars like yeah let me pick it up again i got this in the shade cool nude and i think before i was using either the shade before it or the shade after it or possibly neither of those. But yeah, this concealer was just like so groundbreaking for me. I was like, oh my god, it's crazy. Is all makeup like this? <laughs> so let's take a look at what this is gonna do. Bro, that is wild. Oh my god, I forgot. I mean, I didn't forget, but holy shit. That is some full coverage right there. This concealer is honestly just so, so wild. Like, that coverage, the formula, it's all right there at such a good price. Like, honestly, get this. Out of everything, you gotta get this. If you are on the hunt for a new concealer or you just want something that's a little more affordable, yes. Even, like, the shade range is great. I, yeah, definitely recommend this. I'm so glad I picked it up again. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some cream contour. Let's go ahead and set the face. I am so stoked for this. So it is the one size ultimate setting powder. This is a hefty amount of powder. Like I honestly feel like this is gonna last me my entire lifetime. Really enjoy how it has that stopper because that way the powder doesn't get messy. Like, ugh, I love that. I got mine in, is this translucent? Yeah, translucent. I'm gonna use my sponge first. I'm sorry, what? Okay, that's cute. I'm not mad at that. I do wish I used it, my um, pore filling primer because I think that would have really smoothed out my nose. But this way I was kind of able to get a full idea of what this powder would do, how it sits on the skin. And yeah, I mean, I don't know maybe if that's just the primer acting up, not too sure. My nose looks a like a little wonky nothing that i'm gonna like remove my makeup for but 
aside from that, it's cute. It's very, very thin. Now from here, do I really have anything new? I don't think so. So I'm kind of just gonna do my makeup now. I've been really into the Beauty Bay bronzer again. I don't know why I stopped using it. I think I was just trying to like use up my other products. But one day I was just like, I want something a little different. And I used this and I was like, uh, wow. Forgot how much I loved it. You know, I haven't actually been adding highlight to my cheekbones. I've really just been adding it to my nose. And I'm liking it. I feel like because I usually add some type of glowy base, I just don't really feel like I need it. And I think it looks a little more seamless. But that's just me right now. In a couple months, I'll probably back to adding it. But yeah, I've just been enjoying my cheeks looking a bit more matte and having my nose be a little beacon of light. For my eyes, I just don't really want to do a lot, so it will be a very, very quick shadow look. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadow in Pumpkin Pie. I'm honestly just going to use the brown shades in here, the matte browns. Probably should have clarified. Put that in the crease. This is the Dose of Colors Blushing Berries palette, and I'm just gonna take that light shade and add that on the eyelid. I'm gonna pick up the shade right next to it and add that in my crease. There we go. Very light, very simple, quick and easy. It literally took me, I think, two minutes. Let's go ahead. Let's curl my lashes. Add a few coats of mascara before we apply some falsies um so i was gonna add some falsies but i completely forgot that this happened to my glue and it's just been like that for like two weeks now and yeah i forgot to buy a new one frankly i don't want to use this right now because i don't want to know how dirty that got so oh god let me add a few more coats of mascara because we're not putting on falsies today. I'm just gonna add some of the Tower 28 lip jelly because similar to my skin, my lips are dry. Here is the completed face with some new products. Honestly, I don't think there's a product in here that I wasn't like a fan of. But yeah, okay, so let's start with brows. Honestly, now having my like full face of makeup on, I am a really, really, really big fan. Like I love a good fluffy brow. What else do we have? So, oh, the brow pencil from ColourPop, which I like it. I think it was a bit tricky to use on top of the brow lift. I'll probably be playing around with that a little more, but that ColourPop pencil just in general, because I have tried it on its own and on top of like my usual suavecito gel um pomade um it works great so i think again for the price like it's a great brow pencil the primer okay so yeah it's one of those products that i really do like to have in my makeup collection because i think having a very simple like glowy base is great on those days when you want something a little more natural and just to give that like glow from within there are so many out there on the market but i think this is definitely you know a decent one to have um it wasn't super like groundbreaking you know i wouldn't necessarily say like at this moment right now that it's something that i am like i need to have 10 of these because if they ever go out of stock or if they ever you know take it off the market like i'll need to have it no but i'm glad i tried it out and like i don't think it looks bad i think my skin is still looking really radiant for the patrick star one size powder i like it even in my smile lines like i feel like that's looking really good like usually i would have a bit of creasing at this point just because i'm a very expressive person so i tend to get creasing in those areas i can definitely see this being something that i will be loving for sure um but yeah, all of that to say that, you know, this is first impressions. 
you know, that can change with the day after, it can change a week from now, a month from now, who knows, but yeah, I'll definitely still continue to use all these products. If my opinion changes on any of them, I'll hopefully remember and let you guys know in future videos. But with that, I think that's all. Is that all the makeup I tried out today that was new? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I really need to go buy lash glue because <laughs> I completely forgot. But anyway, I don't even know how that happened. One day I just opened it and the top fell off. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That is all from me, so thank you guys so much for watching. I had a fun time filming this. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video. But in the meantime, go ahead and watch the other videos on my channel. Go ahead. I'll have some pop up for you. Take a look. All right, bye. <laughs> Excuse me, Cora. Okay, that's odd. Okay, I, will, uh, I need to get some makeup on me. Uh.